Well, hey guys, happy Saturday. I just woke up and I'm wearing this Garnier Ombre, wait, Garnier Ombre Solaire Kid Sensitive Expert. Anyways, I am going to finish getting ready and make my coffee. <laughs> I haven't had it yet. Oh, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Andrea. I'm a dermatologist and I love to share vlogs on the weekend. So if that sounds of interest to you, make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up and stick around. Now that we found love, what are we gonna do? Hmm. Well, hey guys, I'm on my way to run errands and I see the leaf blowers are out in full force. Comment below, are you team leaf blower or team anti-leaf blower? Uh, I know it is a point of contention. Many people are on the side of the leaf blower saying, you know, it's an honest work. Many people are anti-leaf blower saying it's noise pollution, it doesn't make any sense to be blowing leaves all around. I think a compromise would be a leaf raking <laughs> into bags because with the blower, it's like, it doesn't really, it just moves the leaves off of your yard onto someone else's, doesn't it? I mean, it's not like it actually blows them to, to a place where they can decompose and not bother anybody. And the other problem with the leaf blower thing is that they end up blowing them here into the gutters and that's problematic because when we get rain and if the leaves are clogging up the drain, then that is what contributes to flooding. So this is a problem. You guys are like, this is way more than we needed to know about the Houston metro area landscaping. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think that leaf blowers. I'm, I'm not a fan of the actual machines. The, Speaking of landscape, this person is here. That was a tight fit. I don't understand why people, I've said this before, but I don't understand why people park their cars on the street here. Like, do you see how carefully I had to go around all of those cars in order to get through the street? Um, and I'm sure that parking like that is a recipe for getting your car dinged. And it's not like these houses don't have massive garages. I don't understand it. I mean, this is, this is the neighborhood with the, um, with the Darth Vader home. So I've been trying to be more consistent on TikTok lately. And as a result, I have exposed myself to TikTok. And I don't know, you guys, if it's just in comedy or what, but some of the things that people are putting on TikTok, I don't understand how people are believing this. Is it just like everybody realizes that they're lying and it's comedic or are people legitimately believing this stuff and here's the problem because of social media our attention spans have dwindled down to microseconds people just you know get sucked in in an instant but if it goes on longer and they get more information they, they don't allow themselves enough time to get more information to make an educated analysis of what's going on I feel as though um, and TikTok is just ripe with the most bogus things it's, it's a modern day circus uh, you know how they always show like the old circus tricks um, you know illusions and things like that that is what TikTok has become our modern day circus and yeah I mean I don't know if it's because the audience on there is young and vulnerable but I mean it's some of the stuff is like come on man come on you know they're not th th this is BS right um, like there was this girl on there who had some cockamamie scrub 
that she had come up with. I mean, not cockamamie. It's something that you see everybody and their mother doing. It's not new. It's not. That's the thing. The stuff is not necessarily new and innovative, but they scam it to you in a new, new and innovative way. Um, basically, taking uh, sugar and coconut oil, I think, mixing it together and God for scrubbing it all over her face. <laughs> don't do that it's not good for your moisture barrier it does create little micro tears that lead to increased transepidermal water loss and dryness and irritation I mean I've talked about this before scrubs those scrubs they're not good and it, it feeds into this like compulsion to be exfoliating you know some people have a problem with picking their skin I think many people don't realize this but they have a problem with wanting to scrub their skin and it's not beneficial um, at all I don't know if the scrubbing is, you know, provoked by emotional distress or anxiety like picking, but yeah, uh, anyway, she was going on and on about it, about making the scrub and telling people to use it for maskne, which was just, ah, please don't. Anyways, she starts the story, that that's the thing, she started the story off with this whopper about how when she was in eighth grade, her geometry teacher um, taught her how to make this mask, claiming that it was the solution to healing acne. Come on, who? what school are you going to? What school are you going to where a geometry teacher is gonna be like, class, we're gonna pause sine versus cosine for a moment and I'm going to teach you how to do a scrub mask like no I mean it has been a long time since I've been in the eighth grade I don't know what goes on there anymore whatsoever I'm sure a lot has changed hopefully they're still teaching math yeah but that intro it's like what wait a minute nobody is questioning the story of an eighth grade teacher teaching you suddenly how to make an eighth grade geometry teacher my geometry teacher was was like also the coach of the um basketball or baseball team or whatever and he was not he was not playing around like it was sine versus cosine and that was all we were talking about if you opened your mouth, other than to talk about geometry, it was not acceptable. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm from another time where you just sat in your seat and kept your mouth shut or paid the consequences. Um, but apparently now everybody is, uh, you know, doing an at-home spa in math class. This is a problem, you guys. This is a problem. This is how... This is a problem for the future. If this is what... If this is what the youngins are doing in math class, then we have problems on our hands. Um, yeah, I feel like TikTok is ripe for preying on people with, I don't know, vulnerable people. It's like, dude, think critically. Think critically here. Just the intro alone. I can't. Uh, I'm wearing this sweatshirt because Mabel, this is the men's sweatshirt that doesn't really look like a men's sweatshirt. It just kind of has that cool, I'm wearing an oversized sweatshirt vibe to it. I mean, I'm not um, a linebacker or anything, but I would say that this is a small. And a small male is gonna be busting out of the seams in this. Um, so yeah, they should just change it to maybe boy. Anyways, <laughs> I like this sweatshirt because it's the sleeves are long, but not too long. They're long enough to cover my hands. Um, it's really comfortable. Nice, thick weave. I get questions on clothing that protects the skin. You want tight weave fabrics. Uh, if you can see light through them, unless they're labeled as UPF fabric, if you can see light through them, they're not protecting you adequately. And if the fabric gets wet, then it's a no-go. It is a no-go. Who has been here since the beginning when I used to eat at Witch Witch that used to be there and it is now no longer in existence? Comment below on if you have a Witch Witch in your area because... I can't find them anymore. There's, I think there's one still remaining in Houston, 
one or two, but they're like, you know, you have to take a plane to get to. Um, so I don't bother, but that is seriously my favorite fast food eatery. They have amazing vegan options. I don't understand why more vegans don't eat there or like talk about it on YouTube. I guess because they have dwindled in their store numbers. The last time I ate in one was, as a matter of fact, when I was in, was it when I was in San Diego? I think so, and we all know that was a long time ago. Um, yeah, Witch Witch. If you have one in your area, hit that up. Um, and the vegans, I mean, their black bean burger is hands down the best, one of the best veggie burgers I've eaten in a fast food establishment. Because a lot of times they just use a frozen veggie burger that you can get at the store, and it's like, dude, come on, like, that's not creative. Speaking of thawing out veggie burgers and serving customers thawed out veggie burgers, I... <clears throat> I do not play with a vegan restaurant that serves the, on the majority of their menu beyond meat. Why? Because I feel like any restaurant can do that. If you're gonna distinguish yourself from the crowd as being vegan, you need to cook. You need to actually cook the food. If you just thaw out Beyond Burgers, I ain't here for it. That is lazy, that is lazy and they overcharge you for it. If I wanted a Beyond Burger, I would come to Costco and I would get a biggie pack of Beyond Burgers. I wouldn't go pay $18 plus tip, plus valet, plus whatever else they tack on for Beyond Burger. If you are a vegan restaurant and you are serving, you can have like one Beyond Burger based thing on there, but if that is the majority of your menu, get off the bus, get off the bus, go home, have your parents sign the permission slip because I can't. Like, it lacks creativity. If it's a vegan restaurant, I expect there to be your own recipes. Even a, va a fast food vegan place, they need to come up with something original. Because if all you're doing is thawing out something, I can do that myself. Like, what am I paying you for? To to microwave something or thaw it out or whatever it is. Like, however you make a Beyond Burger. Anyways, I don't like Beyond Meat. That's why I'm ranting on this. Because it tastes like, it tastes like bad breath and feet. Tavolo prep and serve barbecue trays. Isn't this like some kind of a, isn't this brand to Tovolo or Tavolo? Isn't it like some kind of a, food prep thing of the future where you like it's got like a brain in it <laughs> I can't remember exactly I think it's got like all of these pre-programmed settings am I making stuff up did I dream that I swear I've seen that somewhere on YouTube Tavolo speaking of TikTok I saw this woman on there take these scent booster beads and put them in a bottle with like water and spritzed it around on her fabrics like Febreze. I was just like, wait a minute. She said it would make her house smell nice. Do these smell that good? In wash scent booster. You've got Unstoppables and then you have this Odor Defense, April Fresh. Hmm. Well, that was relatively painless except, guess who's back? Back again. The free samples. And I'm not talking about like have a Ritz cracker wrapped up in a piece of wax paper free samples like they had a little for a little bit. Um, I'm talking about like the full on free sample. So you know what that means. Tacking on an extra 10 minutes to my Costco trip to fight off the crowds of sample hungry fanatics. Uh, for example, there was a Frito, a Frito sample. I mean, come on now. Who has not had a Frito? Why do, you, you don't need another Frito sample. I mean, we know what Fritos taste like. Tastes like a corn chip. Yeah, but I ain't mad at you, I get it. When things are free, it's hard to resist. It is hard to resist something for free. That is why I have a bazillion tote bags. If somebody offers a free tote, I cannot help but but accept. So I, I don't need another tote bag. I 
don't need another tote bag. But then I talk myself into it like, well, you know, you can use it to carry groceries. Reusable, good for the environment. But I have a ton of reusable grocery bags. Do I really need another one? Clogging up my life. No. Speaking of grocery bag, I'm on my way to the Croge. And I'm hoping... I'm going to check out the wick candles. Because I have been happy as a clam in mud with that fireside s'more. Uh, I think it's called. It doesn't smell like a s'more. Is it fire? I, I don't know. Something about a fire or maybe lakeside s'more. Yeah, that's what it is. I can't remember. I've been enjoying it. It doesn't smell like a s'more. Maybe it has nothing to do with s'mores, but... So yeah, I'm gonna look for I'm gonna look for another candle. See, many people in the summertime or spring they like like a fruity floral scent. Not me. I like to rein in the fall scents in the summer to create the illusion that it's cooler out than it actually is. The <laughs> Kroger tree is all decorated for Fourth of July. They always do a good job with their decor in here, and their cake decorating skills are on point. Look, Home Chef has uh, sagged into the croge there with her mashed potatoes. Now, I mean, honestly, do you really need a Home Chef branded heat and serve mashed potatoes? That looks like it is a sneeze away from spoiling. What? Do my eyes deceive me? Is it clearly Canadian? <gasps> I may have to get this for old time's sake. I love the peach flavor. If you had this in your lunchbox back in the day, you were you were a Rockefeller. Yeah, what did I tell you? I knew it had s'mores in the title. Lakeside s'mores. Highly recommend this. Smells wonderful. I don't get any marshmallow or chocolate or graham cracker out of it though. Well, hey guys, I am back. I've been back for a while. I just went for a run. Um, still loving my new uh, Brooks Adrenaline running shoes. And I really like the color too. I'm showing you the floor, not my shoe. There you go. Yeah, I've been really happy with these. And these shorts are a black version of the um, shorts that I shared with you guys last weekend, I think. Um, you can get these at like Marshall. It's yoga. Yoga 360, I think is a brand. Um, so yeah, and this t-shirt is from the Amazonian. Oh, still loving my fitness watch, and it's still doing well as far as tracking my sleep. One thing, I put away my groceries, but I snagged some new placemats at Kroger, and you guys are waiting with bated breath to see them. <laughs> these are not them, but these are my older placemats, another Kroger win. By the way, if you are in the market for placemats, I highly recommend skipping into Kroger because they have the best placemats. I've been really happy with these, although I need to throw them in the washing machine because they're looking a little neat, less than clean. But I got these, I got two placemats, same color. I thought these were good for summer. They're intended for outdoor use, but I thought they were pretty. And I like that they're, they're like a, they like that material that you do cross stitch on. If you know, you know. Um, and so it's easy to just wipe these off. You don't have to put them in the dish in the washing machine. I wonder if you could put them in the dishwasher. Um, anyways, yeah, I thought those were cute. And then I also, I'm on this kick now of just trying different coffees. I don't know what it is. For a while, I was loyal to my Four Sigmatic. I still love that. I've got a bag in the pantry. But um, I just finished the Cameron's coffee. And when I bought it right now, they have Adelio where you can get quite a bit of cash back on this chameleon coffee. So I decided to give this a try. It says it has notes of milk, chocolate, and citrus. And then I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. I've never actually had Dunkin' Donuts coffee, I don't think. Um, well, that's a lie. I've had it like from the restaurant just like to go the regular black coffee but i've never bought it in the store and brewed it or anything and this is currently on ibotta and honestly i bought it because that just i don't know that looked inviting the turtle love sucked me in but i got this was on sale at kroger and i think i got like two dollars cash back well hey guys i just finished my skincare routine and i have a skincare empty i just finished up the Uriage Eximos um, 
Lipid Replenishing Anti-Irritation Cream. Two thumbs up for this. I, the first few times I used it, I wasn't that, you know, wowed by it, but I have loved this. I've been going through it since, I can't even remember when I first started it. I love the packaging too. It's like a giant syringe pump and you can see how much you have left. And the way that it ends up getting into, into the pump, you really get all the product out, which is rare. I hate it when there's a pump package and the, whatever, the straw doesn't reach all the way down. There's product left behind. You have to like whack it on the side. I hate that. Um, this is really smart packaging. Um, it's just, it's a very no-nonsense moisturizer. It has uh, mineral oil, one of my favorites, shea butter, another favorite, glycerin as a humectant, another favorite, and it also has um, borage seed oil, which is a plant emollient that has been shown to help people with eczema. It's rich in fatty acids and um, both when applied topically as well as when consumed orally, although the data on that is very limited, so it's not like a standard of care recommendation. Anyways, I really like that moisturizer. Oh, what I'm going to come in with is the Sun Balm 3-in-1 Leave-In Detangler. Anyways, yeah, I have really been pretty happy with that, and I wanted to share it with you guys before I forget, and of course you'll see it in my empties video, but, oh, I know what I was going to tell you guys. Just because we're getting into summer months, do not stop moisturizing. Uh, really important for keeping irritation away. Especially if you happen to get quite a bit of sun exposure, then that sun exposure makes your moisture barrier impaired. So the moisturizer piece is really helpful. Um, even if you're not dealing with what feels like dry skin, it just helps the, the skin barrier function better. I have been really enjoying this, by the way. I shared this with you guys in my hair care products for sun protection for the hair and scalp. Uh, if you have color treated hair, I definitely recommend this because it has uh, sunscreen filters in it, which will help uh, reduce UV damage to the hair shaft. Now, of course, your hair shaft can get skin cancer, but uh, can't get skin cancer. Uh, but UV really does damage the um, hair shaft quite a bit, and that can make you prone to, first of all, it can wreak havoc on your uh, hair color, The you know, if you've had chemically treated hair. And it can, if you have blonde hair, it can kind of yellow the hair. Yeah, those are some evening skincare tips. I am gonna relax for the rest of the evening, read my actual book book, not the audio book. I did listen to my audio book in the car today, um, but I'm gonna read my actual book book and then hopefully that will put me to sleep. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and thank you for coming along. I think we had a fun time together as per usual. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.